Hello everyone, welcome to Nihilumbra, a very atmospheric puzzle platformer from Beautifun Games. You play as Born, a being that left the Void, and the Void wants you back. I want to thank viewer Spectre Von Baron for recommending this game to me. Puzzle platformers aren't normally my thing, but I think I've been coming around to them a bit lately. Recently, I played The Swapper, which is another really dark puzzle platformer, and actually loved it. So I'm really excited to play this, and from the little bit that I've played so far, I really like what I see. This game originally came out on iOS, but was remade for a PC release, which has now just come to Steam. Links to where you can find out more about the game and play it for yourself will be in the description. Okay, let's get into it. So here you go, you have a little, like, mini-tutorial in the beginning. I am a creature of the Void. Am I made out of Void myself? I'm not sure, but I look like it. But here I am, born. What are you? You shouldn't be alive. You will never escape from this place. Here they introduce the jumping mechanic, or I guess ability, I'm not sure if you can call that a mechanic. Oh boy, this place looks like it's falling apart, or maybe something is trying to make it fall in on me so that I can't escape. This is not a game. Where are you going? You are part of this place. Nothing can forsake the void. We'll see about that. You don't belong out there. You have escaped from the void. Now you are in the world. So yeah, so far I've played the first maybe like five minutes at most of this game just to familiarize myself with it and I really like what I see so far. It's got great art. As you can see, it's beautiful. And it's so moody. Wonderful music. And just the concept is so interesting. You're a creature from the void and you've escaped. I mean, <laughs> escaping the void. That's such an interesting idea. Also, it's really, really fun just to jump. It's got, oh, it's just got such a wonderful feeling of bounciness. In the animations, too. The way the, uh, the blob creature, whatever you'd call what I am. The way it moves up and down when you jump is so satisfying. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I could do this all day. But this is not the game. There's more to it than this, so let's keep going. These small lights will forgive your mistakes. Now, I'd really like to know what that means. These small lights will forgive your mistakes. So you touch them and... Oh, I just realized they're checkpoints, aren't they? They're checkpoints, okay. I was thinking about it in terms of the story. What are, what are these small lights supposed to be? But, no, I think, I think it's just a checkpoint. You left the void behind, but it is coming to get you. Catch me if you can. You know, even if it gets me killed, I'm going to bounce everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It is so satisfying. Although this view switch is making me nauseous, so I think I'm going to stop doing that. Oh my god. Ugh. I need to stop doing that. Oh, it actually is coming for me. Okay then, time to go. The void must be won. 
You cannot escape from it. Go, 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 go. Leap of faith. Frozen Cliffs. Don't worry. You are safe for now. You know what? Suddenly I want to go to the left. Just to see if there's something there. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go to my death, but... Let's find out. Oh, the, oh. Okay. Don't worry. You are safe for now. So there is a little ledge, but it does not go anywhere. Good to know. Even if you change your shape to match this world, you are still an outcast. I just love the mood of this game. Look at how... Did, did I just sneeze? I think I just sneezed. He's shivering. Yeah, he did just sneeze. Anyway, what I was going to say is, I just love the mood of this game. Just the overall feel of it, the, the combination of the music with this snowy, frigid world. You know, I've just come into this world from the void. And now, this is my experience with the world, is cold and unforgiving and unwelcoming. And I'm trying to fit in, I have this roughly humanoid shape. I've taken the guise of a sort of scarecrow, but I don't look anything like a human. Except in the vaguest of ways. If I actually encountered someone looking like this, yeah, they're going to know I'm not a human. You will need more momentum to jump here. Now, one very strange thing about this game that I don't understand from the beginning is the narration. I... <laughs> Maybe someone can explain this for me, because I don't get it. I don't understand what the perspective of the voice is, if you know what I mean. It seems to be some sort of, like, omniscient story narrator that knows everything that's going to happen. But at the same time, it almost seems like it's the voice of the void. Like it was telling me, you can't escape. You can't leave. It's... it's very strange. Like, I don't understand the perspective of the narrator. This is a beautiful place, but it's not for you. You were born from the void. You are nothing in this world. What is this? A color? It's not an object or being. It's a property. Everything can have a color. Even you. You are about to learn something new. Okay, and that, that drives home the weirdness with the narrator that I don't get. If it is some sort of omniscient, you know, story narrator that just knows everything that's going to happen, then why did it just say, what is this? It's almost as like it, it's almost as if it's talking as an omniscient story narrator and also the voice of the void and also it's speaking for me, my character. 
because that seems like it's the character's reaction to the color, right? What is this? But it's all told through the same voice. And now it's telling me I'm about to learn something new? I... I don't, I don't understand where it's coming from. It's not a big deal, it's just a very minor element of the game, but it's very confusing to me. Your existence can change the world forever. Alright, so here is the... Uh, I think the main gameplay mechanic of this game, which I've just barely messed with. This is almost, almost as far as I've gotten in the game. Which is the color system. I just gained a color, and now I can use it to change the world. So I can select it. And I can paint the world. You can use colors to transform the ground. Yep, so this one allows you to slide along it, which allows you to gain momentum. So the key here with this one is just um it'll take me too long to get past this. So I need to go faster. So there we go. Yep, you get to skate. Blue will allow you to slide. Slippery surfaces allow you to go faster. The faster you go, the further you jump. Mm-hmm. And you can take back whatever you paint onto the ground if you want. With the right click. Left click to paint and right click to remove. Alright. Let's gain some momentum here. I just, I just love the animations. Just look at them. They're so fluid. They're so wonderfully fluid. Very satisfying. Really nice. You can see the way the like the folds of his the I don't even know what you call it the folds of his what is he it still looks like he's made out of the void so I'm just gonna say the folds of his voidy cloth that he tried to mimic from the scarecrow thing look just look at the way they billow out as you move around and jump it's wonderful this new color is yours to use. Now you must go back to the frozen mountains and resume your journey. Time to put it to use. Okay. Let's go to places we couldn't before. Alright. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Right. So to get back, I need to build up some momentum. This feels like Portal all over again, except with a completely different game. But just the idea of just the idea of putting stuff on the ground to change the properties of it is um it's going to lead to some interesting results, I have no doubt. Because there are many more colors. I mean, just look at this. I'm actually I guess one, two, three, four. I, I see four little things here, so I'm assuming there are four more colors. So there's going to end up being a lot of combinations. But at the moment, it's nice and simple. Oh yeah. It's really satisfying to do that. Also, one of the fun things you can do is you can simply just draw on the ground. Like this. You can, oh, whoops. Let me select the right color. Here we go. You can draw whatever you want. Here, I'm going to leave a mark on the world. Hi. Wait, that's an exclamation mark. Whoops. Let me try that again. I need, it, it needs to be smaller. Hi. There we go. I have left my mark on the world. Momentum to jump here. I don't know if you actually need to take the stuff back. It might clear when you go to the next screen. Actually, you can see. There is a limit on how much you can put into the world. If you use a lot of it, you can see the globe go down. So let's do that, and let's move to the next screen and see if it comes back. You are fascinated. Hmm. This place is magical. You may be empty, but you have learned how to change the world. Just a little bit. Just enough to leave a small mark. Yep. And in this cold, inhospitable world, I'm going to leave marks of happiness. Alright, so it looks like it doesn't clear just when you move out of the screen. Maybe you need to be a certain distance away, or maybe you need to actually be out of the area 
like out of the the chapter or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's leave our mark. A happy face. Oh no, a crate. Okay, this is too complicated for me, I give up. <laughs> okay, let's go. Not a new element, no. You are new to this world, but you learn fast. Remember, there's a switch for every door. Gotcha. And I'm guessing, based on my experience in games, I can probably move this crate. Okay, cool. Also, looks like I can switch colors using the scroll wheel. At the moment, I only have one color. But it makes a cool noise, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Wait. Wait. That's weird. Why doesn't it work there? there there's a patch here where I can't draw. No. There we go. Left my mark. Hmm. Okay, now I definitely give up. Right. How do I get behind the crate? Does that do anything? Keep pushing. Don't hesitate. Wait, what? I, c I can keep pushing? You can break the box, ah. but another one will replace it. Okay. Boxes re regenerate? Uh, okay, I won't question why. I just I will just accept it. I find it so surprising. And also just a cool little element that if you stay put for a while, you can see him just sneeze and you can see him shiver. Even though you come from the void, and you'd think that the... Like, the temperature of the environment wouldn't even matter to you, right? But somehow it still seems to. It seems like you're... I don't know, maybe you're sickly? Maybe you can't survive in this environment? I don't know. Either way, just just the stance of him. Right there, just... Just the way he's standing, it looks like he's just bundled up. And trying to keep himself warm, desperately, and failing to keep himself warm. It looks like he's just shivering, basically. Just in his idle animation. He looks miserable. Ah, yes, so I can de-ice it. Okay, so I might come across bits of the color... Whoa. Oh, those are spikes. Some errors can be undone. If you give color, you can also take it away. Yep. So I don't know if I'm going to naturally find colors in the world that I need to get rid of, or if this is just to introduce the mechanic. Alright, so if I do this, it's probably just going to be destroyed, right? Yeah. I thought so. So... Why would I want to get rid of the ice? I guess I only need to get rid of part of it, right? Because I can just do this and make it slide onto it. I think. I'm assuming the box is going to slide. Oh. Okay, that didn't quite work. Uh, let's do that. Oh, is it going to be destroyed? Yep. Little bit more. And let's go. Okay, cool. Another tree of mistake fixing. I think that's the name, isn't it? Oh, wait, can't forget. A Whoa. Foe can turn into a friend. It only needs a small boost. Okay, um, I was assuming this place was populated by humans, but I think my assumption was wrong. Although I am in a humanoid form. That is a strange and very scary looking creature. 
A foe can turn into a friend, it only needs a small boost. I'm not <laughs> As fun as this is, I'm not sure what I've accomplished here. What have I done? <laughs> well, it's certainly having the time of its life, isn't it? It's like, hell yeah, I can skate! Oh, I see. I'm just trying to get it to push the box. Oh, okay. I wasn't even thinking that far ahead. Oh, God. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> it bounced off of my head. I thought maybe it would hurt me, but nope. Okay, you don't, no, no, no. That's mean. I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave him with his fun. Here you go. It's my gift to you. That is a terrible smiley face. That's better. Uh, this should be just a standard do that sort of thing, I think. Mm hmm. Hey, yeah, look at the art. It's just so good. That's why I'm cold? What can I fill myself up with? More colors? Is that what I'm trying to get? More colors? Hmm. Okay, well, I should be able to just do this. Push it on down. Literally speaking, that might actually be true, because it looks like I'm made out of the void. I am nothing. But I'm also something. I am a paradox. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. Oh. You are not fast enough. Yep, I know a smashy smashy puzzle when I see one. I have to question. Why such a thing would exist in this godforsaken cave? But, let's not think about it. Okay, I think I went a little overboard with that ice. Whew. You are not strong enough. Oh, am I not? Little lubrication always helps. Okay, so see, again, we're back to the narrator thing. You are not strong enough. You are not fast enough. Now it doesn't seem like it's taking the guise of an omniscient narrator. It seems like it's taunting me. Like it, it, like it is the void that wants me back. It's trying to tell me that I'm, I'm worthless. I'm nothing. I'm not fast enough. I'm not strong enough. So what is the voice? Is it, is it my inner voice? Is that my own thoughts? Like, is that my sense of self-doubt? You are not agile enough. We'll see about that. I guess you are smart enough. Well, at least he gave me that. You have no memories. Everything is new to your eyes. I was just born, wasn't I? Yeah, at the very beginning it said, You are born. Wow, so the first thing I did after being born was to leave my home. That's quite a bold action. You can't wait to see more and more of this place. It 
It's an inhospitable world. You are not part of it. Well, I can at least agree with the first part. It is an inhospitable world. It has a strange sort of cold beauty to it. The world surrounding you is becoming colder and colder. It doesn't care about you. It isn't aware of your existence. Oh god. It's actually blowing me to the left. Well, if it isn't aware of my existence, then I will make it aware. I am going to leave my mark. That looks like a smirk. No, 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 we need to fix that. There we go. I'm going to make the entire world happier. feel it? Everything is against you. Advancing is becoming a challenge. Why do you keep struggling? Doesn't it make sense anymore? You are alone. Be patient. It's all about timing. If you rush, you're doomed. See, at first it's telling me I'm worthless, and then now the voice is telling me... is trying to help me out. Telling me if I go too fast, I'm dead. Hold on, I think we can do this. Let's do a combo. Oh, you whoops. Need a reason to do anything. <laughs> I miscalculated that one a little bit. You are like a child. You don't need a reason to do anything. You just keep going on. Well, I mean, literally speaking, I am a child, am I not? I was just born. You should take shelter. You will be safe inside the cave. Hold on. I wonder if this game has secrets. Maybe there's something on the other side. No. Ah. I'm out of that hellish mess. This cave looks like a safe place. The blizzard won't reach you here. It looks like someone else wants to use this shelter. This is a Kralagar. Try to keep away from them. Yep, I definitely don't want to touch that thing. Looks like it's made out of spikes. All right, I think I can just speed up its journey to the right. Well, okay, you have to really avoid getting even close to them. Got it. All right, let's just let it gain some speed. Still way too close. I'm trying to figure out exactly how it behaves with this. Okay. Is it going to keep going further and further to the right? That's a little bit further. Okay, oh, okay, it enrages. Let's speed up here. There we go. Whew. Oh, is it still coming? It is! Don't want to speed it up, so I'm getting rid of it. There we go. They were created in the void, just like you. They are your brothers and sisters. Oh, shit! Damn it, ah. Why Damn it I knew I wouldn't make it. They were created in the void, just like you. They are your brothers and sisters. 
They are after you. Why do they hate you? You shouldn't pity them. You must be prepared to eliminate them. If you have to. Okay, but only if I have to. There's no reason to kill things without reason, literally speaking. Okay. This is your chance. Try to make him slip down into the abyss. Do I have to? I might. Do I? Can I jump over it? Maybe I can jump over it. Let me try to jump over it. I, I don't think I can jump high enough. Whoa. Switch over. There we go. Okay, that's... Oh, God. No, no, I don't. Don't want to kill it. Don't want to kill it. Don't want to kill it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I really want to know if this is possible. Mm, no, I don't think you can jump high enough. Let's try it again. I'm still getting used to the systems, <laughs> as you can tell. I really want to move the view over to the right before that happens. This is your chance. Try to make him slip down into the abyss. No, okay, yeah, you have to. Okay, come on. This is your chance. Try to make him slip down into the abyss. I feel bad for it. I mean, it was trying to kill me, so I guess I shouldn't, <laughs> but still. There we go. Now I've done something good. Those monsters were created by the Void. They are soulless creatures. The only goal is to catch you. But why? Why does the Void want me back so much? Why does it care? Why do they want you? Why won't they leave you alone? Why are they your enemies? What have you done to them? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Watch out. Hmm. What do I need this box for? Couldn't I just push this off? And then just do this? Okay, that is not what I meant to do. A little bit too slippy slidey there. monsters were created by the void. They are soulless creatures. Why do they want you? Why won't they leave you alone? Why are they your enemies? Watch out. Yeah, I can just do that. So what's the box about? Don't tell me I need it. Maybe they are not alone. Hmm. Maybe the whole void sent them after you. A good old masher. Yay. My favorite. You feel something strange. It's something really unpleasant. Could it be... fear? Let's time this right. And go. Something awaits you. You can feel it. Prepare yourself. This is the void. It's here. It looks like it's, what? Eating away the walls? Oh, here it is again. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
Okay, pretty simple so far. What next? Ah, I see. Okay, I went at the worst possible time. Good job, let's try that again. And of course we have spikes. Gotta have spikes. It has found you. I noticed. And we have bigger spikes. Oh, whoa, I thought I was gonna hit it. It will find you wherever you go. Ah, one of these. Push, push, push. Hopefully I don't need to be up there, do I? No, okay. Whew. It will chase you forever. Oh! Bad idea. <laughs> I was thinking, what does that button do? Now I know. That is a very strange creation. Why not just create the monsters rather than have them fall on my head, activated by buttons? The frozen mountains are being destroyed. I find your attempts to kill me very strange, Void. Also, I think I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm I'm dead. Just take me. Let's try that again. <laughs> I want to release one just for the just for the fun of it. Whoops, I didn't mean to release that one. I wonder if they can be eaten by the void. Anyway, I need to be patient. Just just wait. It's really hard to be because this is a chase sequence, so I feel the need to run really, really quickly, but the frozen mountains. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh no, I can't come in here. Okay. Oh, I think it just died to the void. Okay, so they can die too. I guess the void is indiscriminate and in who it eats up. Uh, do I just do I just jump? Here we go. Another leap of faith. Living forest. You are in a new place now. Forget about the frozen mountains. They weren't your home. You have no home. This is a very different looking environment. It's a lot less snowy here. I see some leaves. This looks like a forest. You feel something strange here. Something wonderful and new. What can it be? A new color, maybe? I would love a new color. A new color? You want to have it. But it's not the moment. Yet. Aww. Ah, it's a bouncy color. I thought so. Okay, so I think the height of the bounce is determined by how much energy you put into the first hit. If that makes any sense. Looks like it remains the same, it doesn't look like it dissipates. Yeah. So the bigger the initial jump, the further the distance you fall to it, the bigger the bounce. Everything can bounce on green ground. Even a box. Good luck, box. <laughs> That's awesome. If you try to jump while bouncing, you will do just the opposite. 
Wait, really? Okay, let me try. I'm curious. I'm... I'm, I'm pressing... Oh. Okay, it's kind of like sticking me to the ground. Okay, so it's just a way to kill your bounce. Yeah. If you want to stop bouncing, you can just hold down space. Got it. Okay. This place is warmer. You don't feel as cold. Maybe you are not as empty as before. Maybe there's something growing within you. I hope so, but I still look like I'm made out of the void. Okay, so I don't want to jump here. <laughs> you are in the forest. A breathing place where the mere breeze feels like the air abandoning the lungs of the earth itself. There's a huge difference between these magnificent trees and the inert rocks you left behind. But what can it be? What's the difference? You can't explain it. Well, they're more alive. Everything before was cold and dead. These are trees. This is life. That's another strange thing about the narrator. Aside from me, uh, aside from just me not being able to understand exactly where it's coming from, like who it's supposed to be speaking for or about exactly. Um, aside from that, it also seems like it's sometimes it tries to tell you how you should be feeling. Like you feel afraid. I'm thinking. Don't. I mean, it's kind of strange to tell the player what they're feeling, even if they are talking about the character rather than the player themselves. Because the player is kind of the character, you know? I don't know, there's just something about the narration and the way it's framed that's very strange. Wait a minute, I can go up and I can go down. Choices. I don't like choices. When faced with two options, I will always do the third, which is this. Make a smiley face. Now with the third option gone, I'm down to two. Let's go up. I just realized I only have one option. I can't go up. How's that for thinking ahead? Let me guess. I need to... Yep, I already see it. <laughs> when I go down to the right, I'm going to find the uh, green color. I'm going to be able to make the bouncy thing. Going to put the green here, bounce to it, up here, and then bounce from here, down here, and then up to there. Because the fact that your uh, the distance that you... Uh, the distance that you fell to the green determines exactly what your height bouncing up is going to be. So if you jump from here, your height is going to be just enough to get here. Yep. There it is. And I need to use it to get back. Another color. Another chance to learn something new. Another step to become something better. Green color will turn the surfaces bouncy and elastic. That is so cool. The higher you start, the higher you will bounce. Whoops. There's no way to gain height while you are bouncing. You must think right before the first jump. Gotcha. 
I'm guessing I need this box, so let's move that on over. And away! Oh, can I get behind the box? No. Welp, I messed that one up. Let me make sure I actually do need a box. You must think that a new color will make things easier. But it will probably make them harder. Oh, no doubt. This game is only going to get more and more complicated as you have to combine uses of colors. Right, and it appears I did not need the box. You have learned everything that you need. You can go back now and resume your journey. I wonder if you can actually combine the colors directly. What if you try to paint two colors? Okay, so it just, it just goes over it, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. And it actually changes the, changes the color that is around me. Well, that doesn't help. But... I'm thinking I could combine colors here. Like this. Get a nice big jump. Nope, okay, yeah, ice increases your speed, so it'll increase your jumping. Um, it'll increase how far you can horizontally jump, but not vertically. So I just need to make this whole thing green and jump from up on high. Whee! Let's bounce all the way there, even though it serves no purpose, but it's just really fun. It's so satisfying. Here we go. Boing, boing, boing. Seriously, it's so much fun. Can I... Do I actually not have enough height? Oh, I almost made it! Come on, come on! Ah, ah. Oh, man! Alright, I gotta get a bigger jump. There we go. Oh, I thought my head would hit the ceiling, but apparently it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Let's take that back. And I already know what to do here. Just do that. There we go. Oh, yes. Can't forget. Like this place. You feel a little bit warmer here. What could have changed? Maybe it's just the world around you. Or maybe there's something awakening inside your lifeless body. Something that breathes. I'm coming to life. You know, between the fact that um, you are. you come from the void and you seem to be made out of the void, and you're gathering colors. Even though this game is nothing like it, really, aside from those two elements, it just really reminds me of The Void. Which is a game that you probably haven't heard of. It's very obscure, but I would recommend checking it out. It's very... Uh, it's really unique. I, trust me, you have never played any game like it, ever, in your entire life. But, um, yeah, they're very different games. It's just that they both involve The Void, because literally the name of the game is The Void. And they involve collecting color. You have a new color, but don't forget what you've already learned. Oh, I haven't. Can I make them bounce? Ah. It seems that they are everywhere. You, you realize you can't get me from here, right? Oh, 
I want it to fall down and see if it can bounce. I really want it to. Come on. Come on. You know you want to fall. Ooh. That sounded painful. Just smashed against the wall. Nice green smiley face. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this because that sounds disgusting. Also, I like blue better. It's easier to see. There we go. That's a terrible smiley face. There we go. That, no, that looks terrible too. There we go. You are growing up. You can survive on your own. I guess we void creatures grow up very, very fast. Just gotta time this right. And time to go. Oh, okay, so all of that gets sucked back in when you hit a checkpoint. Okay. Now, hold on. I think I can avoid killing it here. Because I can bounce. Gotta be really careful here, though. Come on. Come on. This is really difficult. Very hard to control this. Ah, oh, no. You don't have enough air control to really make that work very well. Um, but it is doable. I want to do it. I need to come up behind it, though. Like, I need to build up speed. No. Yeah, it's got like a square or a rectangle bounding box around it that if you touch, you get killed, even if you haven't really necessarily hit a visible pixel of it. So I could probably make that work, but it's probably not worth it. Anyway, why should I be so nice? They're trying to kill me. There we go. Mm, what is that noise? It sounds like a fan. Like someone's just turned on a fan. Those monstrosities are vacamores. They will never move. But don't get too close. Ah, it's gonna suck me in, isn't it? Let me just feel them out. Okay, so I can overcome their vacuum power. Achievement unlocked against the current. Thank you. Hmm. Alright, so I need a little extra bounce. Which I can get. That looks absolutely horrible. There we go. Ah. 
It really is really satisfying just to bounce around and use these colors. Okay, I'm starting to see some gameplay opportunities here. So that's going to extend the distance of my jump. Oh. Actually, more than that, it will actually continue to suck you up. Unless you fall to the side. Okay. Man, I look so cool, don't I? I almost look like a, a bird trying to flap its wings when I'm being sucked up by that thing. Look at that. I'm flying! I, I literally look like a bird. That's so cool looking. A, sh a bird of the shadows. Look at that. It's awesome. Ka ka ka. It's kind of ironic. A scarecrow. I, I took the form of a scarecrow, and I kind of looked like a crow. Inside their mouths, there's pure void. They can absorb endlessly. They will never be filled. I see. In other words, if I touch them, I die. Alright, um, if I touch the void on the ground, I'm assuming that kills me as well. Okay. Am I going to be able to get out of the stream before I get sucked up? Yes, okay. Whew. Now, let's see if this kills me. No, it doesn't. Okay. I think it just means I can't paint on it. Yeah. Oh. So I can kill this thing by getting it to get sucked up into that. Go on. Yep. Oh, that just ruined my jump. Oh, whoa, this one has a really crazy suction compared to the others. I can barely escape that. Ah, oh, water! Running water. This place is alive. The void is creating new monsters. It really wants to get you. And it will, sooner or later. That's okay. For every monster the void creates, I will create another terrible smiley face. Look at that one. Smile so big it reaches the top. It, it goes, I don't even know, that doesn't even look like a face anymore. Actually. There we go, that's better. Oh my. That thing doesn't look pleasant. This is the Filiar. They can create other monsters inside their bodies. The hungry Mundakars. Be wary of them. I will. I think I will leave it in its cave. Oh god. Okay. Right. So, I need to do this. Here we go. I don't know what's over there to the right, but... Oh, okay. Here we go. Mm, that'll protect... Whoa, that was close. Okay, let's just jump over. Nope. That didn't work. <laughs> that also did not work. I think I should just keep going. Yeah, let's just keep going. Well, hello there. 
Hold on, what's over there to the right? Ah, uh, so I need to make it fall into the bit. I'm guessing. Will it get sucked up? Yes. Alright, it seems the creatures of the void are not discerning about what they eat. They will even eat other creatures. doesn't belong to the void. It was created by someone else. Yep, that is not a creature. It is a machine. Look at this world that I'm in. It looks like I'm in some sort of a... Maybe a swamp land? It kind of looks like a swamp. I'm not sure if this is water or just some sort of... thick layer of fog that makes it so you can't even see the ground. But somehow, even though this place is alive compared to where I was at before, there's still something about it that makes me feel separated from everything else because it's so... It's so otherworldly and kind of impersonal, the way it looks. It looks like I'm almost up in the clouds. I mean, you can see stuff coming out of the ground, so you can't be. But just this look here of this, like, sweeping, foggy look makes it look like so you can't even... It makes it look like you can't even see the ground. Which makes me feel... separated from it all. Alright, does that thing just shoot at one place, or is it going to aim at me? Okay, it just shoots at one place. wondering if it was going to shoot, and the answer is yes. You can use that to your advantage. Okay, how? Can I get one of these things to shoot at it? Hmm. I mean, it doesn't seem to move where it shoots. <gasps> Bounce! Bounce the shots! Got it. Oh, and I just killed myself. Should have gotten rid of that. Okay. Maybe you can use them to your advantage. Wow, I'm terrible. I I'm totally terrible. Let's try that a third time. Maybe you can use them to <laughs> Let's try that a fourth time. <clears throat> Maybe you can use them to your advantage. <laughs> Truth is, I don't even need this bouncy stuff. I can just do that. Yep, it's perfectly fine. A little bounce here. Oh! Nope, that doesn't work like that. I Okay, I need to keep bouncing the shots. Maybe you can use them to your advantage. Okay. There we go. You found it. The reason why this place is so special. It is alive. Everything. The grass, the trees. It has life. 
Well, n no offense, narrator man, but I kind of figured that out from the beginning. Maybe you are alive too. You can think. That means you exist, doesn't it? It does. I think, therefore, I am. That's a classic. Okay, this looks complicated. And I'm going to tackle it in just a second. I will be right back. Alright, I am back. Now, how am I going to tackle this? You know, if I just stay over here, everything is nice and quiet and peaceful. And then when I move to the right, it's chaos. Okay, I think I can do this and this. Yes. Whoa, what the hell just happened there? Hmm. I wonder if there's a way I can get the top one. I doubt it. I mean, I don't think I can really influence where it goes. Beyond what I've just done. Okay, occasionally it seems to freak out and shoot off to the... Yeah, what the hell? Something is wrong with that. Or wait a minute. Whoa, what is happening? It just shot its own shot. It literally just shot its own shot. Hmm. This is chaos. What is even happening? Oh my god, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Come on, throw them at me. You can't hit me, I'm behind a rock. Just to piss you off, I'm gonna leave a smiley face. Alright, I probably need to go through this very fast to avoid... Well, no. No, unless, unless this one has way more suction than the others, I should be able to just walk through it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I see what I need to do. Get some distance here and... Okay, a little bit too close there. Let's try that again. Let's try that a third time. The, uh, the hitboxes for the enemies are very, very unforgiving. Okay, just enough. This place could be your home, but you can't stay in the same place for long. The void is approaching. I'm guessing it's about to chase after me again. Hmm. I can't go into the void, can I? Is that gonna kill me? No, I just can't go through it. Did not mean to fall down here. Oh crap, what have I gotten myself into? Um... I think I'm... Dead. I mean, what? Crap. <laughs> oh god, I just did it again! Maybe you have to. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Yeah, it's a timed thing. Thank you. It's 
here. Oh crap. Am I gonna die if I touch it? No, okay. Fear. Death. Oblivion. And let's get out of here. They already painted the ground for me. Thank you. Are you sure about escaping? Oh crap. Um not anymore. I Will think I just died. This forest as well. Unless I don't actually need to get up Oh nope, There's I'm I'm dead. Nope. Take me void, take me. Escaping? Will you doom this forest as well? Well, I doom this forest. Yeah, I know the forest is being destroyed because of the void, but the reason the void is coming after me is because the void is a giant asshole. It's the void's fault, not mine. There's nothing to do. Achievement unlocked. Dead forest. Yay, I killed the forest. And now we go into the ash desert. Sounds, um, full of life. Yeah. Whoa, this is actually beautiful. <laughs> 